What's up guys, my name is Bryce and welcome to Bryce Games. Today we're back with some more maze, so let's get started. All right, so I just made it into this elevator. I don't really know what exactly is going on, but I guess I guess I can read these and see what happens. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Well, Ted sounds like a nice guy. What is this? Hiya, Ted, don't worry about it. I reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought food pellets and we have to get rid of them somehow. Bob. What? What is happening? What is this? Why is there a countdown? I I'll press the button. I press the button. Oh, and he gave me a food pellet. Is this game trying to train me? Uh, okay, I, I guess I'll eat the food pellet. I'm kind of hungry. I ate a stale pellet. Oh, that was gross. Ah, it was so gross. Oh, man. But I am kind of I am kind of hungry, though. Like, I could go for some food in real life right now. I'm actually actually pretty hungry. I think it wants me to press the button every time the countdown stops. And then it wants me to eat the pellets. Yay! Oh, wrong button. I tried to jump. So, I guess, I guess I'm just eating stale pellets for some reason. Man, this is a great experiment, Bob. You're just so smart. You're so smart, Bob. The elevator begins to move. Yeah! Well, there we go. Oh, gosh. What is up with the colors right now? Where am I going? Well, hi there. <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's a that's a very sexy statue. Thanks for sharing. My gosh, Bob. What is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. What does this say? Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a good deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob, what does this say? Bob, you are so very stupid. What about the term classified, don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> and don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> At least he's very nice with how he signs the thing. So I guess we're in a top secret government facility with a very strange looking man. This is a painted portrait of Oh, this is Bob. Okay, Bob is very, very interesting looking. Uh, he looks a little bit like a potato, but but that's okay. And this this is Ted, who is a co-founder, but apparently he is very unappreciated. Look how angry that man looks. Man, I bet I bet these two don't get along. They're like super passive aggressive with their post-it notes and stuff. All right, what is this? A facility brochure. Uh, a flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for a walking sentient corn on the front. Oh my gosh, Bob sounds like an idiot. I, I, <laughs> I kind of feel for Ted a little bit. Like, I feel a little bit bad, but apparently we can do something with this thing. Uh, can I use my muffin on it? No. So apparently I'm going to have to figure out something to use on that painting. Oh gosh, this is crazy looking. What is going on in this facility? Oh gosh, all right. Let's go see what's happening. All right, we got we got two ways down this hallway, so I guess I'll start off going left. What does it say? Hiya, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks. Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> I like how he signs it. It makes me happy. Apparently, Bob is just like a giant idiot, and he wants to just spend as much money as possible for no reason and Ted's trying to be a little bit reasonable he's like nah now nah, we can't use stuff all the time all right so what is this room we got the west hook checkpoint it doesn't look like I can go in this room yet so let's let's go down here and let's look at some of these what is this Ted Ted exciting news I got us a huge deal on jumpsuits for the facility I got thousands in bulk for the fraction of the price I've already used some of the savings for some great stuff Bob oh man Bob is the best Bob, you idiots! You got a good deal on them because they're completely useless! No one can wear them. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we got a sweet jumpsuit. Oh, let's look at this. Wrong button. Ah, uh, there we go. A cheap jumpsuit. Made out of a material that looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. It does, it does look pretty weird, not gonna lie. Is there anything else in here for me? Doesn't look like it. How about over here? Oh, we got something. An invoice for a large amount of jumpsuits. What is this one? Oh, wrong button. 
All right, an invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparently have been embroidered with the name Mitchell across the breast. They only come in the size XXXXL. Wow, that is a very large size. And a few, and the word defective appears a few times in very small print. Good job, Bob. Bob, you're just so smart. So smart. Oh my gosh. Bob is making me angry and I don't even work with the guy. Oh, this is crazy. All right, we got the security station. We got what, some security tapes in here? What's going on? This is some really good TV. I like this. We got a, we got a coat rack. Uh, good for hanging coats unless it is placed upside down. In which case, it is not effective at all. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, game. Thanks for sharing. All right, so what does this say? Reserve power mode activated. Okay, uh, what, what is this? All right, so we've got a warfare readiness report. It appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. Pretty much like me. Uh, the term abject failure also appears all over the document. A running theme on many reports involving the corn. All right, so apparently they were trying to use the corn for military purposes. Very strange. And we got some pizza. Oh, I want that pizza so bad, but I can't reach. All right, is there anything else in here or, or is that it? I think, I think we might have gotten everything that we can get from here. So let's head on back and go into some other rooms and see what's going on in there. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on anymore, but... This is crazy. What is this? A robotics room. Oh, cool. Oh, teddy bear. Guys, teddy bear is going to be in this part. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay, so apparently we need to make teddy bear. So we got to find all the parts to make a sentient teddy bear. So I'll have to work on that. What does this say? Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Ted's kind of a jerk, too. I, I, know, I know I said that Bob kind of sucks, but... Ted's also kind of a jerk. All right, what do we what do we have over here? Anything anything useful? No food or drink. Interesting. Uh, anything else? Bob, you disgusting slob! Don't you know how to read? Stop eating it here, glutton! Cordially, Ted. All right, Ted, calm down a little bit. All right, so we got an old computer. I guess we're gonna plug this up to the monitor, and apparently we need something else if we're gonna make it work. All right, is there more more stuff in here? More computer parts? A Gripatron! That seems interesting. Bob, you jerk! Put my ram back where it was! I know you took it and hit it that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here! Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Alright, Ted. Alright. A tour guidebook. Let me see what this says. Wrong button. Alright. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant vats. And most repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Well, thank you very much for that, Bob. That's that's really great. Alright. Like every other model, this Gripatron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of the value with its claws. All right, can I can I put this on Teddy Bear? Can I put you? Yeah, there we go. All right, so I need to just find a few more things. It looks like we need a backpack, a weird sign thing, and then Teddy Bear. Okay, I can do this. Oh, actually, that kind of looks like we need to use the use the keyboard because it looks like it has a little wire right there in the keyboard. Yeah, we might need to put the keyboard on Teddy Bear. Maybe that's how we get him to work. All right, what's this say? Hiya, Ted. Latest brochure just came back from the press. Take a look. I think it'll really boost the tour. You'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Thanks, Bob. Bob, first, you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Cordially, Ted. What's this one say? Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We are co research heads, remember? As in the same title. Jerk. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure that the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Bob. Good God, Bob. Have you the reading comprehension of a five year old? This is a top secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? Moron. Cordially, Ted. Wow, they sound like the best of friends. I wish I had a friend like like those two. They're just so great. So great. All right, so what's going on in this room? Oh, hi. Hello there, corn. 
How are, how are you? They're, they're just sort of watching me. They're just really interesting. They're like, huh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. What is this? Cheeseburger wrapper. Nice. Just what I needed. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims, now 100% salmonella free. Oh, that's fantastic. There are no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. All right, so I guess we have a nice mustard wrapper. That was very good. Thank you for allowing me to find this. This is just what I needed. All right, let me see. Is there anything, anything interesting in here? It looks like level two is blocked off, so we can't go in that direction. And what is this thing? What? What? What is this drawing? All right, so it looks like we got Ted as a horse, and Bob is riding him as George Washington. This is a very, very amazing painting. Thank you, thank you so much for making this. Hiya, Ted. Notice you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, it had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, will you, please? Bob. What does this one say? Bob, I am not putting up another one of your stupid paintings, you self-indulging louse. I, louse? I don't know how to say that. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> Alright, so apparently Bob, Bob likes to be a little frivolous. He likes to make sexy paintings that could be framed a little bit better. I don't know why this whole area up here is even existing, but you know what? I think it looks great. So I guess I guess we'll go up here, see what the cord is doing. Maybe maybe they'll help us out with what's Let going us pose on. Another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. Yes. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct. Well done. Yeah, yeah, that was a great riddle, guys. Really, really enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything helpful over here. Oh. Here we go, a misinterpreted memo. What does that one say? All right, a memo from the US government directed to a secret research facility, name of which has been redacted. It contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. The year of the memo is 1983. Oh gosh, oh gosh, that's when I was negative 12. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened. What is this? Oh, we got a shift schedule. A schedule outlining the shifts of the entire facility staff. The most notable are the shifts of the two founders. They're on completely opposite dates of each other. Probably because Bob and Ted hate each other. That's, that's probably why. Oh my gosh. Look at their little feetsies. Oh my gosh, they're so weird looking. Oh man, I, I, didn't, mean, I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sorry if that was offensive. I know, I know it was a little bit rude. I, I don't know what you guys are really looking at. It's kind of... Kind of weird, but you know what? You're corn. I'm not gonna judge. I don't know what it's like to be corn. Oh my gosh! What is this? Okay, um, Bob, I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers did you eat, you slob? Cordially, Ted. Oh my, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, we got an essence sketch. Nice! Oh, that's great. Oh, I should probably read it. Uh, boom! A major improvement over the Sketcher 2000 features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine drawing them in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face, owing your fascination to foreheads. All right, so apparently we need to go draw Bob, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm gonna do. All right, what is this? We got an invoice for an opulent bathroom. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to the two extravagant toilets with a sink encrusted in gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's seat with a very pointed statement on financial culpability. I am not paying for this. <laughs> oh man, it's great. This is great. Oh man, look at this toilet. Oh my gosh, that is such a nice toilet, man. I wish my bathroom looked that cool. And why is there a barricade on the bathroom door? This is very confusing, but I guess maybe I should head over to the other side. Oh, is this something I could use? Ah, uh, no, it's not. I thought it was. All right, let's head on over to the other side and see if maybe I can get in over here. It looked like, yeah, it looks like I can get in over here. And look around. What is this? This is Bob's office. 
Oh my gosh, Bob. You really need to take care of this place. And you have another painting? Another painting? Oh, it does have a blemish on it. You're right. Oh, man. What is going on in here? Bob, you are a hoarder. I'm sorry to tell you, but this is horrifying. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. He's not allowed to poop until, until you clean up. I am tired of calling in the hazmat team every week. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Well, all right then, Ted. All right then. Ooh, can I take the blue cup? No. Is there anything helpful over here? A military backpack. I think that's Teddy's backpack. I saw I saw the trailer, so I think so. And what is this? We got a small screwdriver. Nice. Can I have some soup, please? No, no soup for me. All right, is there anything? Oh, here's one. In An invoice for something. A commissioned painting. An invoice from a very famous painter commissioned to create the set of portraits of the founders. Appears to be spearheaded completely by Bob with very specific instructions on the style of portraits to be painted. The cost is in the millions. Oh my gosh, Bob. You're freaking crazy. Why you, why you need a painting that badly? Oh my gosh. Is there anything else here for me? Doesn't really look like it, so I guess... I guess maybe we will head on back and try to see if we can use any of these parts on Teddy Bear. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what's going on. This is this is very strange. I'm starting to get the feeling that Bob is an idiot and Ted is a jerk. So I, I'm just very, very happy with how this is going on. Let's put the backpack on the back and I don't really think maybe the sketcher. No, I don't really think any of this other stuff is actually something I can use on this. So I probably need to go to the other side of the facility now. So. Let's head on over and do that. Can I? Nope, doesn't look like I can go in there. So I guess we'll just walk on down here and see what's up in this room. All right. Oh my gosh, what is this? A daycare? Why Why is there a daycare? In a top secret facility, why do you need a daycare? Oh my gosh, I can't climb it. It's too high. Oh my gosh. All right, what, what am I doing in here? We got a, how did I do? Got to have a ball. Oh, teddy bear. Oh my gosh, teddy. Daddy, I love you. I've been I've been looking all over for you. I thought I was never gonna find you. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here. I just gotta give you the biggest hug, teddy bear. I love you so much. I love you so much. Yes, I did just give myself a hug in real life. And we got a block. A children's block. What is this? Oh, a Soviet knockoff of the famous American teddy bear, which has a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. His name is Vladdy, according to the tag. It looks grumpy. Interesting. And then we have a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. He spent a long time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Why am I so dumb? Am I like secretly corn or something? Am I actually corn? I can't see my feet, so I can't prove if I'm human or not, but what is going on? What? What? Like, why am I so stupid? Like, it, are people just this dumb? Am I just this dumb? What? What is happening? Why is it happening? I'm very confused. All right. Is there anything over here that's going to be helpful? Doesn't really look like it. Can I go through here? No. Honestly, right now, though, I'm just super happy that I have Teddy back because I love Teddy so much. Oh, man. Oh, and what is this thing? Uh, what are, what are you? What, what is this? Oh, use the screwdriver to open the extremely obvious fake panel. Yeah, I did it. What is this? A secret, a circuit board of RAM. Look at all this RAM. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. Wow, that is so much RAM. I know I have like 16 million bytes of RAM on my computer, but you know what? Six or seven is pretty good too. Don't, don't worry about that. You figure that has to be the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever. And search for a computer to upgrade it with, knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. All right, so we got some RAM now. Hooray! And what does this say? Hiya, Ted. Just a heads up. I put your RAM right here. That way it'll get way less dusty. Oh my gosh. Bob and Ted are so passive aggressive. Oh my gosh. Come on, Teddy Bear. We need to, we need to go figure out more things now. We're going to go to the gymnasium. All right. We're going to work out, Teddy. We're going to do some squats. Yeah, doing no squats. What is this? A dumbbell. Add it to the folio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet somehow, you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. That is a bit strange, not gonna lie. Teddy Bear, what do you think about this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Teddy Bear, well, it looks like we're going into the locker room. And we got, a, we got a little thing. What does this say? 
Uh, a triumphant test report. The only way this report could sound any more triumphant is if the trumpets were blared every time it was read. Explains the very promising result after examining one of the new cords of sentient corn. What? That was... I read that wrong. Whatever. A breed of ruby queen corn shows high levels of intelligence. It is also glossed over the fact that the specimen is somehow female, which is apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. And he says he's a potential genius and a major breakthrough. Yes! We're so genius, Teddy Bear. We're so genius! Teddy, did you do this? Are you the one who did this? Man, Teddy's so smart. Teddy, you wanna you wanna work out with me? Maybe we could run on the treadmills. Or we could we could we could lift this dumbbell, do some squats, we could do the punching bag. Oh man, Teddy Bear. We we should maybe maybe check out some more things first though. Oh! We got a sweaty headband. Nice! This sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It is not worth the risk. I I agree. I don't want to wear the sweaty headband. Is there anything in the trash? Anything? Anything else in here? I can't see my reflection. Sort of makes me think that maybe I'm not actually human, but I'm not I'm not really all that sure. All right, what's going on in here? We got we got a nice little shower room. Hope I don't drop the soap, Teddy. That'd be really bad. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Someone dropped the soap, Teddy. You know what? You can grab it. You can grab it, Teddy Bear. All right, what did I get? Um, we got another rock. A run-of-the-mill rock with no defining features whatsoever. To discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence, this name is Mabel. Hi, Mabel. You can chat. You can chill out with Chauncey. I already have Chauncey the rock in my inventory, so I guess you two can hang out. All right, so I guess we're gonna head back now and try to make Teddy Bear. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for Teddy Bear to go on adventures with me. We're gonna be the bestest of pals and it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to chill out with Teddy Bear. I, I'm excited to have him talk back to me. Like, that's gonna be amazing. And I just walked in a circle because I'm, I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so I need to get to this other side of the hallway and the Teddy Bear room was right over here. So we're gonna put Teddy right here and then uh, what do I, what do I put here? Maybe I put the RAM in the computer. That is not how RAM works, even remotely. <laughs> oh my gosh, fantastic. Fantastic, and now we put this here. Yes! Teddy Bear, you look great. What? What are you looking at? Teddy Bear. Something on Vladdy's face? Teddy, I didn't realize you were Russian. Why do you not talk? Do you understand? I understand you, Teddy. Understand. What Vladdy is saying. Yes, I understand you. Quit making Butso me feel boy, stupid. boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? Oh, he's so <sighs> mean. Fine, Vladdy, help. <sighs> Teddy bear. Why oh, guys, so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? I don't know. It made you alive this for makes some no reason. sense. All of this is very stupid. <laughs> I agree, Teddy Bear. So, where we go? Uh, I actually have no idea. I was hoping that you would know. You have acquired Vladdy, prepared to be insulted forever. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at Teddy. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, he squeaks. He squeaks when he walks. Oh my gosh, Teddy Bear. You're so adorable. Oh my gosh. I love Teddy Bear so much. If you go back and watch my very first video, it was like three years ago, but the very first thing I did was find Teddy. Like, Teddy has been a part of my channel since the very beginning, so I'm so excited he's in this game. Oh my gosh, he's too cute. Look at him go. <laughs> he's really slow, but he's adorable, so I love him anyway. All right, come on, Vladdy. We need we need to go this way. Hi, Court. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my God, what is that? I know he's what so is, cute. What is Plant saying? Is that a? It is. It's a helicopter. <laughs> what? <laughs> Da! Nah. Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! <laughs> we can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoy! Chitanya Vesela! What a rude contraption! <laughs> well, if you're just gonna be like that. Aww, you made him sad. Daddy! Uh -huh. Right, we completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. Okay. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no what? idea. 
Are you saying I smell? Vladdy does not like it here. I don't like it either, Vladdy. I don't like it, Teddy. You know what? I know your name is Vladdy, but I don't care. Your name is Teddy. No path has been open to you. You should finally, you should probably go find it. All right, Teddy Bear. Are you excited? Are you excited? Would you like a biscuit? Can I, can I give you the biscuit? No. All right, Teddy Bear. Looks like we're going to, to wherever we were supposed to go. Oh, the showers. Okay. Should be right over here. Teddy? Teddy, you're so slow. <laughs> Teddy bear, come on! It's gonna take 10 years to make it to the shower! <laughs> buddy! Buddy, you're so slow! You're super cute! And your squeaks are adorable! But we need to make it all the way over there! Oh my gosh! Come on, Teddy! We gotta go! Come on, buddy! Come on! Are you really just gonna... You're just gonna sit there? Oh! Teddy bear, you can teleport! Oh my gosh! Dude, you're amazing! Dude, I wish I could teleport! Teddy bear, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. You know what? I'm going to take him into this room just because I heard him say something in the trailer that I wanted to say again. This is not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks. <laughs> help them understand life. Yeah! So apparently now when I go into different rooms, Teddy's going to make comments on what, what, what he should say. So that's pretty fantastic. I, I like that a lot. All right, Teddy, I'm going to meet you in the showers. Hopefully, hopefully you'll make it there soon enough because you're, you're kind of slow. You're kind of just taking your time, bud. All right. So, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing in the showers, but apparently... Oh, we got a vent now. Teddy, what are we going to do with this vent? What, do you have a plan, buddy? Do you have a plan? That's a good plan, Teddy Bear. I should use the coat rack. Yeah! Teddy, I'm a genius. Stay here oh. while you do your stupid things, idiot. Hey, Teddy, I'm not stupid. Come on, bud. I thought we were friends. I made you come to life. I don't know why you're talking without talking, but I don't understand, bud. I thought we were the bestest of pals. We've been friends for three years now. Three years. You can't throw that all out the window, even if you are Russian now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right, so it looks like we're going to head down here and see what's up. Maybe I should follow the red line, but you know what? I'm going to make my own destiny. I'm going to go I'm gonna go the other way, see if there's any secrets. All right. Am I, am I going anywhere? Nope, I'm not actually going anywhere. Never mind. Right, let's get this out of my hands. There we go. All right, so it looks like I do need to follow the red line or I'm not going to be going anywhere. So should probably just follow the red line. But you know what? I don't care. I'm making my own luck. Nope, that's the end of a wall. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, now we got a yellow line too. Huh. You know what? I'm going to check out the yellow line. See what's up with that. Hello? Hello? Dude, this is creepy. This is giving me like some or outlast it flashbacks. It should be me. It should be me. Surrounded by idiots, rattle, underappreciated, ridiculed, scorned. Really, what is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? <laughs> we should have kept one around to ask about that. X is ugh, ridiculous. Uh, hi there. Well, what you doing in there? Hmm, much better. Some of my best work. <laughs> is it saying something? You wrote stupid on the screen. Oh, yes, dealing with unwanted guests. What? I'm very wanted. Why gotta hate? That was very strange. I don't know what to. Hey! Why'd you knock over that bottle? <laughs> he seems nice. I agree. He does seem very nice. Oh my gosh. What is even happening right now? Apparently, there is another breed of corn. I don't know what that is, but apparently, he's trying to get rid of me. He doesn't like the intruder. Oh my gosh, I can't I can't believe he would hurt me like that. I'm just trying to be a friend. Just trying to chill out with my teddy bear, see what's happening, but apparently he doesn't like me very much. I'm very confused by this. I'm very confused. All right, let's head on down here and see what else is in store for me. All right, so apparently there are a bunch of different types of corn and they all have like different like uh, temperaments and stuff. So they're all different personalities. So that's kind of cool. Oh, hello again. Where did it go? I'm right here. Not here. Ha, not here. So insulting. How dare it? <laughs> this insolence will not be tolerated. Will not be tolerated. This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see that already. This one has a brain. I have a brain. Mm, must be dealt with. Okay. What, what are you going to do? What's, what's he doing? He's drawing? Did he write stupid on the board again? <laughs> He totally wrote stupid. Oh, he wrote something. I, oh, a mean, a mean something. Hey, quit knocking things over. What? <laughs> what is wrong with you? 
He's probably talking about you. Thank you. Thank you for indicating that. I wasn't sure if he was talking about me or not. That was very, very helpful. I don't know why Teddy didn't come in the vents with me. I mean, he's totally small enough. He could have just walked in here. But apparently, apparently he just didn't want to go with me. Apparently, I'm also saying apparently 50,000 times. Apparently, apparently I'm doing that. <laughs> All right, what is this? Oh, the pink corn. Okay. I don't, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the female corn from the, from the entry. Okay. Interesting. Hello? Why are you sleeping? That was a sexy noise. Who has disturbed me? I. We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. What? Uh, sorry? Has our servant informed you of your task? You, you have servants? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Does one have to refer to themselves in the third person? Is that part of the rule? Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Are you talking about the sun? Of course. We would not expect one such as yourself to understand. Why does everyone talk about me like I'm some weird being? But... What am I? Perhaps you are different from the rest. Maybe. Dare we let ourselves hope? I have a teddy bear. That we have finally found our champion. I don't know what that had to do with anything, but I just wanted to tell you how I got a teddy bear. No. Oh. Likely not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. Hooray! So, we bequeath to you your task. Don't you queef on me. Restore energy to this wretched place once again. And raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. All right. Well, good night then. I, I guess I'm just going to awkwardly watch you sleep from up here. Looks like you have something to do. In a pure coincidence, a new path has been opened to you. West Hook Checkpoint. All right. So it looks like we just unlocked a brand new area. And we have a brand new task. We got to help out the Queen Corn Lady. And get the sun in here, I guess. I, I don't really know. Ah, idiot. So you are done being stupid up there. I'm back, Good. teddy bear. Where we go? Yeah, we gotta go save the princess lady. I don't actually... I don't actually know who she is, but we're also being hunted by sentient corn. I know. I'm also very terrified, Russian teddy bear. But I think we'll be able to do that in the next episode. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more maze, then make sure you give the video a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see my new videos as soon as they come out. Also, if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you let me know in the comments down below so you guys actually want more. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.